Previously on Baby Teeth 4. So, which cat do you choose? This one. You, you can't choose me. Get him, Jillian. No! He's changing. Jillian, look. So Hoodwink was all three of the cats? I'm stuck here in this castle forever. Is there a spell on you to keep you from leaving? I can't really say. Hoodwink, was it the evil ones that sent you here? I kind of feel sorry for the little guy. But old Hoodwink must never go. If there's a way to reverse the spell that's keeping you here, we'll be back to set you free. Jillian, what's that on the ground? It's a necklace. It's beautiful. Close your eyes and let yourself go. We're back! In Paco too! Uh, Jillian? What? The door is gone. It's like the door was never there. Do you think it's because Daddy was just in here? I don't know, but the last time that happened, it came right back when he left. I guess we should just wait and see if it comes back. Maybe it won't come back. What do you mean? What if we weren't even meant to go through that door to begin with? That doesn't make any sense. Why would they even put the door there? Remember, it wasn't long after the door appeared that the flashing light started flying around the room. But the tree guy told us that that was a sentry fairy putting a spell of protection around the room. I guess so, but that still doesn't mean that we were supposed to go inside the door. We had to go inside to get Paco back. Paco? That's right, we'll ask him what he thinks. Hey Paco, we have some questions for you. Yeah, make it quick. I'm trying to get a nap here. Paco, why did you go inside that fairy door? It's a secret. Come on Paco, you can tell us. Yeah, did Hoodwink trick you into going through the door? Hmm. It's kind of embarrassing. We won't laugh at you, Paco. Paco, we need to know why this door appeared, why you went inside, and if it's ever coming back. I can't answer that first question for certain, but I have a pretty good idea. Why did that door appear, Paco? Obviously, someone on the other side needs you for something. That one you called the tree guy said as much to you, didn't he? Right. He said that magic was leaking from their world into ours and that they needed help, but he didn't say what we needed to do. Perhaps they'll tell you in time. Next question. Why did you go inside that door? Oh, uh, that's the embarrassing question. Can we skip it? No, you're part of our family, Paco. You can't keep secrets from us. Oh, like you're not keeping this whole thing a secret from your father. We tried telling him, but he wouldn't believe us. Yeah, Paco, stop dodging the question. All right, all right. That day, that flashing light was flying around the room? The fairy sentry? Yeah, stop interrupting me. Anyway, I just had to chase it. It was irresistible. You know how cats are. So you chased it through the fairy doorway? I don't know if it even knew I was chasing it, but yes, I just ran right after it. Couldn't help myself. Aw, my little old kitty still likes to play. <sighs> you promised you wouldn't make fun of me. Paco, I have a question. When we were trying to get out of the Land of Enchantment, how did you know that we needed to close our eyes and let ourselves go to get out? Hmm, funny thing. When I chased the ball of light, I could see I wasn't going to fit through that little door, but I was going too fast to stop. Not even you could fit through that door? Hey, I'm smaller than you, but I'm not fairy-sized. Anyway, I thought I was going to hit my head, so I closed my eyes. And let yourself go? Yeah, that part was easy. Cats are naturally very relaxed, even when chasing a fairy light around a room. So when you opened your eyes, you were in the land of enchantment. Yes, but I'm pretty sure I didn't end up in the same part of the woods that you did. I was on the other side of the castle. So you think the doorway isn't always consistent? Right, I'm guessing every time you go through it, you'd end up in the Land of Enchantment, but not always the same place. But I don't think that door's coming back anytime soon. 
So what about Hoodwink? Did you find the castle or did he find you? Well, he's telling the truth about one thing. He can't leave the castle. I went there on my own. Why did you go into the castle, Paco? Hmm, let's see. Domesticated cat, used to sleeping on a couch, suddenly alone in a forest. You figure it out. Were you scared? Tch, me scared? Never. You were looking for people. You thought the castle might have people in it. Bingo. It's not that I like people so much, but being a house cat does have its advantages. I figured being a castle cat might be even better. Even better than here? Yeah, where's your loyalty? Uh, cats aren't so much loyal as they are opportunists, you know. Oh, I don't believe you, Paco. You know you love us. Yeah, I guess so, but geez, why do you gotta make me say it? So when you went inside, Hoodwink got you and locked you up? Actually, he only locked me up later when he thought you would take me away. So what did he do with you? First of all, let me tell you, he knows nothing about cats. He even tried giving me a bowl of fruit. I don't think he has the slightest idea what cats like. Poor Paco. Did he try to use you for his magic? Yes, but I'm not sure what he was trying to do. What do you mean? He took me around to different parts of the castle. He kept saying different incantations near the walls. Don't ask me what they meant. It wasn't a language I've ever heard before. What parts of the castle? What do you mean he was near the walls? Jillian, do you think he was listening to the voices in the walls in the castle? Yeah, I wonder if those are the same voices in the walls that we had here. I didn't hear any voices. I think he was looking for something in the castle. You mean like a hidden passageway? Or a secret door? Maybe there's a hidden fairy treasure there. He didn't say anything about a treasure. Besides, what would a marionette want with some treasure anyway? But he's not doing this for himself. Yeah, we're pretty sure he's working for the evil ones or someone like them. Well, I guess you guys are going to have to figure this out for yourselves, because it's time for me to take my nap. Jillian, do you think he was looking for that necklace you found? I guess he could have been, but it's not like it was hidden very well. It was just laying right outside the castle in the grass. If the fairies were in a hurry to leave, and they didn't want Hoodwink to find it, they could have just thrown it out the window. I guess so. It makes sense if they already knew Hoodwink couldn't leave the castle. Right, so once they threw it out the window, Hoodwink wouldn't be able to get it. But if the fairies ended up leaving the castle anyway, why didn't they just take the necklace with them? Maybe it was too dangerous for them to keep it with them. Dangerous? What if it was so powerful that they didn't even want to take it with them? But if that's the case, they would have hidden it better. I think the fairies put it there on purpose, where they knew we would find it later. How could they have known that, Jillian? They might not have known it would have been us at the time, but they could have thought it was their only option. They might not have had enough time to think it all through. I don't know. This is all just guessing until the door comes back or the fairies tell us what they want us to do. So you think we should just wait? Right now, I'm just happy to be back home and I'm in no hurry for anything else weird to happen. Well, what about Hoodwink? We promised him that we'd be back. No, we didn't. We just promised that we'd try to find out more. I guess so, but we need to figure out how to break the spell keeping him captive, and we need to figure out how to get back to the Land of Enchantment. That's enough assignments for one day. Come on, we better go get dinner before Daddy comes back. I guess so. Still no fairy door yet? Still no fairy door. If it weren't for this fairy statue, I might have started to think we'd imagined the whole thing. Maybe we'd be better off if none of this had happened. You can't really mean that, Addy. Why not? Fairies, a magic wand, a talking tree? Maybe it's just time we start living in the real world. Don't forget a talking cat. That's true, I do like the talking cat part, but Paco isn't even talking as much as he used to. 
I know this hasn't been easy, but we shouldn't give up yet. Think of poor Hoodwink stuck all alone in that castle. I do feel really bad for him, but what more can we do? We've gone a week without any answers. Maybe we're not looking in the right place. Where should we look, Jillian? Close your eyes and let yourself go. Yeah, we've tried that like 20 times in the past week. Nothing happens anymore. Hmm. Do you have an idea? All along we've been closing our own eyes. What about this eye? How would you close that eye? Does that have a cover or something, like a locket? No, it doesn't. Try covering it up then. An eye that can't see is closed. Anything? Nah, nothing. Wait, we weren't closing our eyes whenever you covered it. Ready? One, two, three. Anything? Nope. Maybe we should just get rid of that thing. Why would we do that? Maybe that necklace is the reason that the door disappeared and nothing has happened all week. You don't know that for sure. We still don't know if that necklace even belongs to the fairies. It could be a bigger plan by the evil ones. I'm not just going to give up on this, Addy. I'm not either, but I think that necklace is bad. You can't see that and it's right in front of your eyes. Wait a minute, say that again? That necklace is bad? No, the other part. You can't see it, but it's right in front of your eyes? That's it, Addy. That's how you close this eye and your own eyes at the same time. You're not making any sense, Jillian. Close your eyes and let yourself go. Jillian, no! Jillian, what's happening? Jillian, what's wrong? Jillian, are you okay? Jillian, say something! What happened, Jillian? They spoke to me. Hey guys, did you like this video? Be sure to click that thumbs up button and subscribe. And make sure to come back next week for a new video on Baby Teeth 4 and every Wednesday and Friday on Baby Teeth More for a new video on that channel. Bye!